So guys, we do have a bit of an update of a story that I was going to do today. Well, the, the news and this just changes so fast in this day and age, doesn't it? So I saw this video originally yesterday or last night where a Taco Bell worker was refusing to serve a woman who was speaking English because of the fact she wasn't speaking Spanish. Okay, neat trick. Um, look, at the end of the day, anybody would say, okay, so this maybe is not in America? No, it was in Florida. This is America, um, where a woman who was serving a woman through a drive through refused to serve her because she wouldn't speak Spanish in America. But, subsequently, the racist Taco Bell worker has been fired for refusing to serve English-speaking woman. So a Taco Bell employee has been fired after footage emerged of her refusing to serve a customer at a drive through window. English-speaking Alexandria Montgomery shared footage, for footage via social media of the Spanish-speaking employee refusing to serve her and claims this is an incident of racism. I don't know if it was racism per se, but let's keep going. Alexandria, who is African-American, explained, This lady understood what I was saying, but didn't want to take my order. Talking about, she doesn't speak English. I don't get what talking about, but whatever. It's bad English, I suppose. Updating her post later on, Alexandria reveals the employee had been fired and had given a false name. The incident happened at a restaurant in Haley, Haley, I might be mispronouncing, a city to the north of Miami, Florida, with a high population of Spanish speakers. The video, which shows Alexandria being repeatedly refused service, has been viewed over a hundred thousand times. We do have that video. We will play that for you right now. So you can't take my order. You won't understand what I'm saying? <laughs> but you speak something, no, though. No yeah, but I am want to order food. No, no hay nadie que habla inglés. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Mi vida, tengo carro atrás. No, I want to order. You not finna tell me to leave and I want to order. En la 29, 29 Avenue. Well, the line gonna be held up because I want to order. And you telling me... Well, they won't get their food because I want to order. Oh. Um, call police on me. She call the police? I'm trying to order and she's telling me I can't order because she don't speak English. Who's wrong? What did I do wrong? <laughs> Okay, but I want to order food. No, hay, hay nadie que habla inglés. Te puedes mover, that por doesn't favor. make any no sense. Hay nadie que habla inglés. You're te not llamo making policía. any sense. Okay, te llamo la policía. Call the police. I didn't do okay. nothing. I'm Lo trying siento. to order food. Okay, but I want to order food. No, and you telling me you siento. can't order my no food because you don't speak English. That no doesn't problema. make any Lo sense. Siento. That doesn't mean nothing because this is Hialeah. No this no is America. Y'all don't take over the whole population. Okay, te Excuse mueres, me. Por favor. I'm trying to order food. No, and no, no, no. And no okay, so, so she won't understand. Well, she don't know the menu. She won't understand what I'm saying. No, mi amor. El menu. No, entienden el menu. no, no entiendo nada. Alright, so yeah, uh, you actually see in the video, she literally closes the window on her after she claims she can't understand her, and then looks like she's calling the cops. Um, okay, interesting. I, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, let's keep going. The employee who gave the name as Lisa repeatedly claimed that no staff members at the branch could speak English, stating, This is Haley. I'm sorry. No, this is America. You learn to speak English. But anyway. When Alexandria asked if she could speak with the manager, Lucia said that she was in her house sleeping. And would later turn out Lucia had actually acted as general manager during that shift. Alexandria asked why she could not simply make her order using the phone numbers besides the menu items. Using the numbers beside the menu items. Quote, she didn't want to help me because she didn't speak English. But you know that menu. You work here. 
So you would know what I'm talking about if I say I want number six on the menu. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't completely shut me out because you don't speak English. That's not fair. However, her request to order food continued to be denied and she left empty-handed. Lucia eventually threatened to call the police on Alexandria after she continued to try and order her meal. Two separate Taco Bell employees approached the window during the altercation but reportedly did not offer to help Alexandria out. So Alexandria told the El Nero Herald this incident happened on Wednesday night at around 10.30 p.m. I contacted the manager and, after explaining what happened, all he did was apologize and say thank you and the call was disconnected. The, the address of the restaurant is that. Okay. Quote, she added, I do not know what I'll do yet. Quote, in a statement, Taco Bell said, This does not meet our expectations of customer experience. We have worked quickly to resolve with the client and ensure that this does not happen again. People who have seen the video have been shocked and horrified by Alexandria's experience, with many agreeing this was an incident of racism. I don't think it was racism. Um, at the end of the day, um, I think that she just didn't want to serve her because of the fact that she didn't speak Spanish. She's just like, I'm not going to serve you. Uh, is that racism? Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. I, is it shit? Yeah. Is it terrible? Yeah. Is it disgusting behavior? Sure. I, I don't know if I could call it a racism, though. She just didn't want to serve her because of the fact that she wasn't going to speak Spanish. So, like, egotistic? Sure, but... I don't know. I get worried when we start labeling everything racist, but let's keep going. One person said, horrible, yes, very racist. Arm um, brands have to quickly get a handle on this kind of blunt bias and disrespect. Yeah, I would definitely say it's blunt bias and disrespect, totally. Uh, another commented, this is ridiculous. Thank God Taco Bell management terminated the employee. Her body language and response to the lady in the car demonstrates that she did speak some English. She didn't want to wait on the woman in the car because she didn't speak Spanish. Racist. And look, I totally agree. Yeah, I, I do think at the end of the day, she just didn't want to serve her because she wasn't speaking Spanish. Um, I don't know if it's racist per se, but look, definitely shit behavior, that's for sure. Definitely deserves to get fired, but let's get going. According to NBC6, Alexandria was offered a $100 gift card as compensation for the incident. If you have a story and want to tell us, blah, 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 right. Um, look, at the end of the day, um, okay, so, like I said, I get worried when you start labeling everything racist, sexist, blah, blah, blah. Um, look, obviously this woman deserves to get fired. Yes, she obviously should learn to speak English if she doesn't, although I think I do think she does know how to speak English. She just didn't want to. Uh, and at the end of the day, yeah, she definitely has no right working in fast food, and especially in drive through so look, at the end of the day, yeah, I, I think this is shit. I definitely agree that the fact that she should have been fired, should have been terminated. I completely agree with all that. I don't know if it's racist per se, um, because you live in a community that wants you to speak Spanish. I don't know if that's racism. Uh, the idea of racism, my understanding is that, that you think your race is superior, although it's discriminating, so yeah, maybe. I don't know. But look, at the end of the day, guys, yeah, look, I I think this is shit. And, and I'm glad that Taco Bell has fired her. Unfortunately, this damages the brand. And when you get people like this, it does damage your brand and your franchise. Um, the like Literally, the address is literally on the bottom of this article. Do you think many people are going to go to this Taco Bell now? Or do you think they've suffered a loss? Guys, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think this is racism? Do you think this girl was racist? Or do you think she just didn't want to serve her because she wasn't speaking Spanglish? Is that racist? I, I suppose it is, technically. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.